Hi there, this is Eric. Um, this is My Bike Friday. I've had for probably about maybe 10 or so years, maybe a bit over that. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's super well kitted. I actually got it when I worked at Bike Friday and I, uh, I built it myself with uh, as, as many high-end parts as I could afford. Uh, at the time, I had another bike that I had uh, SRAM Force on, and I really liked it, so I did the same thing on here. And what was really important to me was the gear range being equal or similar to my compact double that I had on my full-size road bike at the time. And so what we've got here is a 3953 in the front, and then in the back, it's a 9 to 28. So I actually had a slightly wider gear range, a little bit wider gaps, but I mean, honestly, with these small wheels, the acceleration is so amazing that you will not be sad at all. It's, uh, of course, the great thing, of course, is it folds up and goes into a suitcase, and uh, super easy to fold it small enough to put it in the back of a car, or, you know, I mean, even a really small car, like I have a Mini. Um, and uh, you know it just basically breaks down with uh, the tools that you have at hand. All right let's talk about Bike Friday folding. I've already done a video about this but this particular bike's a little different. So this tool right here actually comes from the water bottle mount. It's a double-sided S-wrench and it was provided by Bike Friday when you build your bike with them they provide one for you. So I'm just going to loosen this up. Now this is an aluminum bolt that's different than they normally provide. Usually there's a quick release, hold, um, but it's a lot heavier and I didn't want the heavy. And then this stem is a custom stem that I, um, it's a, when you buy it originally, there's a piece that's vertical and a piece that's horizontal and then you kind of dial it in and then they make you this custom curved piece. It's a lot lighter, it's a lot stronger and since my bike is so tall, as you can see, my seat height is so, so high. Real important for me anyway, to be able to do that. So you can see how this is gonna dis disconnect right here. So I'm gonna pull this off. And I usually just kind of set it to the side. Make sure that you don't put this on your pants because it's got a lot of lube on it and it will just make your pants really, really messy. And then this thing kind of just pulls to the side. And then, usually just set this aside over here and then this part folds underneath if I can do it easily here it's not designed to be like a quick fold it's more for suitcase travel but as far as putting it into your car this is about what I usually do then I just try to put this part somewhere where it's not going to be on my my clothing and there you go and then as far as unfolding, it's just the reverse, pretty simple. Let's pick it up, flip this part around. It is stiff. Pick this part up. Now, something that happens often with this thing when I do fold it, which is uh, another point, I don't fold it that often. Very rare that I fold this bike is that these cables right here, and I don't know if you can see those, hopefully you can. These are the cables I was talking about right here. When you fold it, these tend to want to hop over the top of this bolt and kind of come over here, and you need to bring it back when you fold it back in. So that, that's it. These cables will kind of move to the side. So you have to reorient them when you do this. Make sure that's fully seated. Usually just put some weight on it. And then tighten this up. Not too tight, because you'll break the thing. It's an aluminum bolt. And then just orient this so that it's straight. Make sure it's fully seated on there. And tighten this down. And this one is steel, so it is pretty st sturdy, and I tend to get it tight. I don't want to have it coming off on me obviously this comes off you're gonna have a very 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 bad day and then the last thing is just pick up the rear wheel and make sure that the change back on you're ready to roll so that is it folding a bike Friday not hard just a little bit of methodical and uh, what it does is it gives you 
the benefit of a full-size road bike at the same time a uh, something that's really really great in traffic because of that super fast acceleration that 0 to 13 miles an hour sort of speed uh, just outstanding to commute on and then of course it's also really really amazing to uh, take on a trip with you where you can take it but you can't take any of your other bikes very easily without spending hundreds and hundreds of dollars. And uh, as far as weight, it's uh, just over 20 pounds. It is a steel frame, but uh, you know, I've got a Chris King headset on here. I've got SRAM brakes. I upgraded the brake pads because I'm not a real fan of the SRAM brakes uh, brake pads. So it's got quick stop pads on it, which I think are far better and work much better in the wet weather. This particular handlebar splits in half, so it makes it much, much easier to store into a uh, suitcase than, than the full-size handlebar. And, uh, you know, I use the Schwalbe Durano tires, the only kind of tires I run on this bike. It's the R390 rims, so the real, real sturdy double wall rims. And, uh, I mean, the, the hubs will practically spin forever. Um, the, uh, the Caprio rear hub, is a uh, is a chosen hub chosen is a company out of uh, taiwan and they make really phenomenal hubs pretty much the only company besides shimano that uses uh that makes a caprio hub and uh their hub is a far superior hub to the caprio hub by shimano so that is the one i got and uh fsa energy crank set and then this cassette is actually a pg 1170 which is a 10 speed um, cassette for, for road or mountain um, and a Shimano Caprio because the Caprio was a nine speed cassette. So what we did was we bought both of them and basically shaved down individual cassette chain rings to group up a 10 speed cassette. And as you saw in the video that I shot a minute ago, the shifting is phenomenal. It is just as good as, it's as good as a regular 10-speed cassette. Actually, it shifts a little better than my 10-speed bike does that has the same Grupo on it. So, uh, really nothing, nothing but amazing stuff about this bike. Why am I getting rid of it? Well, the, the, the fact is I don't need it anymore. I have another 10-speed bike that I actually prefer to ride and uh, I'm not traveling like this anymore. We're traveling in a motorhome, and I don't need something really small in there. So I've uh, got a way to carry my bike, my big bike, and I'd rather ride my big bike. So I am gonna sell my beloved Bike Friday pocket rocket. And uh, my loss is your gain. So anyway, go ahead and bid on it on the eBay website. And I uh, just wanted to show you this quick video and talk a little bit about it so that I could kind of talk from me to you.